Hi, Anthony Fawcett, check from Ohio Daily Blog. I'm here with Ohio Treasurer Kevin Boyce at the Cleveland Knockout here in early December. Treasurer, welcome. Good to be here, thanks. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the Knockout, what, uh, what these programs are really all about. Well, this is really about, once again, taking back Ohio. You know, there have been a number of policies and issues that have been adopted over the last decade or so that we as Democrats and as a party have been working to turn around uh, over the last several years, last few years. And uh, this is a culmination of an effort between the Ohio Democratic Party and Democrats from all over the state of Ohio coming together saying that this is our time and we're going to continue the fight. We're going to continue to press forward on important issues around education, job creation, health care, uh, and really work to deliver that for Ohioans in 2010. The Republicans are kind of excited. They think this is an opportunity for them, the way the economy has been sluggish to respond. Um, you know, they seem to have, at least in their minds, some momentum, but you're seeing a lot of Democrats who are very spirited, very engaged at these events all throughout the state right now. I mean, does it boost your optimism? Does it make you feel a lot more positive about where we're headed for next year? Well, you know, first of all, this is an economy that the Republicans created. You know, Democrats have been in office since 2006, and we've been working to address the issues that they have uh, put in place over the last several years. And so uh, the way I see it is, is we've only had two years to begin to address those issues. And so uh, now you've got Democrats from all over coming together, focus on the right things, talking about the right issues, and bringing the right kind of experience to the table. So absolutely, I feel very good that Democrats are well positioned to continue to move Ohio forward uh, like we started in 2006. Now you, you've had just about, uh, just over two years on the job? No, just one year. Just I, one I'm year just completing job. 11 months on the job, yes. It's been a long year. It's been a very long year. <laughs> yeah. What have you learned in the year as treasurer? Well, I, I've learned that uh, there are a variety of challenges that, quite frankly, are, uh, will require all of us to play some role in turning them around. You know, in the Ohio Treasury, we feel good about our role to be able to contribute in the turnaround. And so we focus much of our resources on job creation, on uh, protecting the investments and the dollars that we have, uh, and really running the office with efficiency. And But those are principles that every state office can uh, partake in and really come together to create a plan uh, that will lead Ohio into, uh, as we go into this next decade, uh, into a place of prosperity and opportunity for all Ohioans. Politically speaking, uh, you were very successful as a councilman in, mm -hmm. in Columbus. Uh, you were appointed to this seat. Mm -hmm. This is actually going to be your first statewide run. Sure. What are you learning as you crisscross the state, all 88 counties, uh, how is that different from campaigning in a small uh, city ward? Yeah, well, I, I was elected at large in Columbus, so I was oh. elected citywide, uh, you know, so our uh, voter, um, voter pool was about a little under 800,000 people, uh, something around 730,000 or something like that. Uh, but the point is, is that, uh, so you get a really good experience in a microcosm of what Ohio is like. And I tell you, traveling across the state of Ohio like I have over the last 11 months, we've been to uh, well over the majority of counties, uh, over 60 counties, that, that uh, we've experienced, um, uh, you know, experiences in Pike County, in Scioto County, Dark County, Mercer County, Cuyahoga County, Franklin County, and all of the counties in between. And as much as you learn about the differences, uh, you're directed right back to all the similarities. And right now, no matter where you live, no matter what part of the state you come out of, you're facing challenging times and, and what I find though is that everybody understands that each of us have a role to play and they look to our elected officials not for the answer uh, but for the opportunity so that the answers can flourish. And that's what we're really talking about. Uh, even thinking creatively about how the Treasury can help create and grow jobs uh, in the state of Ohio and we think that's the kind of strategy that Ohioans will buy into. You know, make no mistake. 2010 is going to be a difficult election year, you know, for uh, Republicans and Democrats all across the country. They're focused on what happens in Ohio because they're thinking about 2012 as well. And so make no mistake, it will be a tough election in 2010, but I'm absolutely confident that the Democrats have put together a, a tremendous team with good experience, good leadership, and more importantly, an understanding of what the needs of Ohioans really are. Any final words of wisdom for Ohio Democrats watching? Uh, just that it's going to take a lot of work. You know, uh, the Democrats, by no stretch of the imagination, uh, don't have our work cut out for us. We've got some serious work to do. Uh, you think about the Republican rule of the state, which has existed uh, for well over the last decade, and so you can't turn can't overturn those kinds of policies overnight. Uh, this is what I would call a marathon and not a sprint. A good public policy requires good thinking, requires 
time allotted and working with the public to really address the issues. And I'm sure that if Ohioans give Democrats a shot at this long term, then we can be able to turn the dial and move Ohioans in the right direction. Very good. Thank you.